Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we arrive at a reef unplanned in the late afternoon. Go to leave and hit the reef. Get stuck in paradise until the next day and arrive at Palau Tomia. Lee kindly agreed to buy these octopus off this guy for Lima Puluribu, which is 50,000 rupiah and about $5 Australian. So he snorkels all day long catching octopus, but he didn't have a snorkel. So he was pretty stoked when we gave him one of ours. Can you see the fake octopus in front of him? So that's what he uses. He dangles that down into the water to lure the octopus out, and then he grabs the octopus. Pretty clever. Now what? So if these guys were f alive, we would have totally set them free, but they were already dead. So we just bought um, two octopus off this guy. <laughs> we didn't really want them, but... We thought we'd just support him anyway. Um, we've never really cooked octopus. We looked at this as an opportunity to learn. So this is an octopus's head. Is its two eyes. Oh no, that's its beak, sorry. And that's its eye there. And that's its eye there. And that's the beak, little beak. And we're going to dissect it. Some things you might not know about our eight-legged friend, the octopus. One, they have three hearts. Two, they have blue blood. Three, they can regrow their arms. How crazy is that? And four, they live a short and sweet life for about one to two years. But we did Google it a bit and I'm going to attempt to tempura it or deep fry it somehow. Um, but first they said to simmer it for an hour, so I'm simmering it in some miso. See how we go. It's a bit scary looking. He's nearly in line with So we have some tempura squiddles. Oh, go on. I forgot to film it, like usual. <laughs> but it's nice, hey? Oh, it's not tempura squid, it's tempura octopus. That's a bit tough, is it? <laughs> it's a bit chewy. That one was, but it's very good. It's um, more tender than squid. I don't mind it. Wakatobi is classed as having some of the best scuba diving in the world, and Tomia was home to some of those sites. So we thought it was time to check it out. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
sea, we had a beautiful dive. The coral and sea life here is stunning. And we even found Dory. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Back to Catalpa, then over to Usuku, where we would meet our friend Ita and her family. Ida speaks pretty good English, so she was able to translate things for us and wanted to show us around the island. What Indonesians do best is welcome you into their home and make sure you're fed. These are fried bananas and fried cassava with sambal. <laughs> Mm, I love this. Oh, you want Bella? Why you do it? <laughs> Come on, Bella. Sweet. offered to take us into the markets the next day. So we were up early to experience the traditional market in Asuku. This is the local fish market. And these are the yummiest pancakes you'll ever eat. They were cooked fresh with nuts, sugar and spices. So delicious. Love that. What is in it? <laughs> oh, yum! <yeah. laughs> that is so good. good. I'm sad for you. Oh, is it? Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Candy. A lolly or a candy made from coconut. Very hard. <laughs> After Ita spoiled us at the markets with treats, she wanted to cook us some traditional food. These greens are water spinach called kangkung and one of my favourite dishes here in Indonesia. Ida is a great cook so we were always happy to eat her Garlic, food. onion, chilli, um, pepper, white pepper, pepper, pepper or pepper. Pepper? Um, oh, pepper. Oh, pepper. pepper. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a sambal. Sambal. And yeah. Sambal. Hot sauce. For, for hot sauce. And for your wife. Hands. Hands. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Kasi, thank you. always plenty of happy little kids to take us back to Catalpa. Thank you. Can I have one of you? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Black and white. Ida wanted to take us to a village nearby. After a few selfies, we got to the tender and visited a nearby island. On the way there, Ida was talking to us about the village and how the women gave birth to their babies in the water. And she was surprised to learn that I told her Bella was actually born in the water too. Not in the ocean, but in the bath.
snail, snail. Ah, yeah, good and big. Mm -hmm. Oh, you eat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The shell. Oh, okay. Good? Yes. Yeah. Very, very good. What is it? The big Cook shell there. Or raw? Raw. Cook? Oh, or yeah. raw? To you. you. Maybe you. Lemon. Life or. Life or. Uh, cook. Okay. You eat life with lemon, salt, yeah. and yeah. coconut. Mm -hmm. yeah. How long huh? does that take? Uh, bikini di berapa lama? Satu sarung. Ten day huh? for one um, sarung. That's, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, face. Barbecue. Face. Says, look. Says face. Um, powder. Mm -hmm. Salt. Mm -hmm. Because of very very hot. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The women and children wear talcum powder on their faces because it's so hot here, it absorbs the sweat. You need a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it takes a long time. In Java, oh, Does your family have a your family ever done? No. No, um no. I don't don't know how to make a sound. Yeah. Because yeah, my more. mother um stay along in Java. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah. As we walked around the village on the planks of timber, looking at their simple, colourful homes, it wasn't long and Ita asked if we could look through somebody's home and they welcomed us in. Can you imagine in Australia, excuse me, mate, can I just bring these random people through your home? I don't think so. The things that stood out to me is they don't have much stuff. It's basic, but everything that you need. This is the kitchen. And this is the bathroom. Yep, that square hole you see is the toilet or the dunny. A straight drop into the ocean. We sticky beaked around a little bit more and continued our walk through the village. And baby enjoy it because of This is Papa Obo, a fisherman here in the village. He showed us around where he stays. We found out he'd actually been to Australia working driving boats. And he was happy to show us around the rest of the village. Join us next time on Sailing Catalpa as we continue looking around this beautiful village, meet some of the local kids and our generator stops working. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, it all comes all thanks to you all. All oh, thanks to y'all.